If you have a Sony camera, you need to change the setting right now. And here's why. I've always been a guy that loves shooting handheld and don't really like using gimbals. Sure, they have their place and sometimes we need to use them, but whenever possible, I try to avoid it just because their setup is annoying and time consuming. Now, sometimes when shooting handheld, the footage can come out very shaky, more than we intended to be and that can ruin your shot. Sure, you can turn on the active stabilization, but even that might not bring you the results that you are looking for. That is, until I found this. One day I was scrolling to Instagram and I saw a video about this guy saying how switching the settings changed everything for him. And I was immediately skeptical because this term is being thrown around like nothing these days. But then I tried changing it and then, let me tell you, this has been the most amazing feature I've come across recently. See, when you have your stabilization on, regardless of which lens you're using, the stabilization setting will be default as auto, which I'm assuming that the camera will try to identify the lens focal length and account for that. But when you go and change from auto to manual, it defaults to 8mm, which begs the question, is the camera doing a good job choosing the focal length of my lens? I don't know. But what I do know is after I manually input a focal length close to what I'm using, the stabilization of my footage completely changed. I mostly shoot with the 24 to 70, so what I do is I set the focal length to roughly the middle point in between those two, at 40 or 50. Now when shooting handheld, the footage feels a lot more organic, with a pleasant shake, and when I turn on the active stabilization that thing gets smooth as hell. Now I know I'm gonna have to use the gimbal in certain projects but after finding out about this feature I'm sure I'm gonna be using it less and less. You need to give this a try and let me know how it went. Now this video right here was all shot on my FX3 handheld way before I ever knew about this trick so give it a watch let me know what you think and thank you very much for watching love you all.